Opening tip. Controlled by Mercer. Right now, Western Carolina is starting off in a man-to-man -man defense. They are well known for changing their defense a lot. So we're going to see how they play their guards since they are shooting 40% from the field right now. Bears trying to look inside to Robinson. Pull up outside for Lawrence. Is off the iron. No good. And Alex Williams had it, then lost it, and Allie Lane comes the other way. Open look in the corner. Nice move to get free, but the shot won't fall. And Robinson tracks down the loose ball. Tiana Robinson is the leading rebounder on this team and well deserved. She's a 6'5 senior. Knows how to put herself in a position to get the rebounds. Outside look is long. Rebound. Alex Williams. We got a foul for the shot. Look there in her sixth season as Karen Middleton, 54, uh, 61, excuse me, and 116 in her career with the Catamounts. Bears to inbound. Fresh shot clock to work with. Pass underneath is tipped away from Robinson. She corrals it and in the lane puts up a left hand that's good. And early on in their offense for Mercer, they're trying to get the ball into Tiana Robinson. The coaches before the game said that they want her to get in a rhythm. They want her to step up when we're coming to the stretch of this SoCon conference. So the Bears on the board first. Bears working a zone. And I would like to call this a very aggressive 2-3 zone. They're trapping everything that goes to the baseline in the corner, making it very hard for them to pass the ball out. Justin Taylor took it inside. Robinson altered the shot, and the shot clock violation gives it back to the Bears, as you see Susie Gardner in her fifth year at the helm of the Bears program, 58 and 87. 234 and 235 in her career overall. Saying the team reflects the coach, and this team is very scrappy, plays with a lot of confidence. And Susie Gardner, I heard, it was the same way when she was a player at UGA for the Bulldogs. Williams thought about the three. Five on the shot clock. Bridges, her pull up is in and out. Lawrence tries to save it. Stepped on the boundary and gives it back to the Catamounts. So, really, defense taking prime form here in the first couple of minutes. Both teams are doing a great job guarding off of the screen, not allowing even Precious Bridges to get to her shot in the 15-footer at the free throw line. Lane with a high pass. Easter collects it. Drive and a pull up for Easter is long. Rebound and the putback won't go. We're going to have a jump ball. And the possession arrow belongs to the Catamounts, so they'll get a fresh shot clock to work with. One thing that Mercer is trying to do a better job of is controlling the boards, making sure that they put themselves in a place where they can get, limit their second chance opportunities for their opponents. Pass back out to Taylor. Drives it, dishes it back, and a shot up, no good, tipped. Rebounded. Joseph had it. And another second chance opportunity for Western Carolina. Shot clock winding down. And they're going to say a held ball. It goes back to the Bears. So again, defense dominating play here in the early going. It's a very smothering defense for Mercer there. Making sure these two top guards are very quick. Nothing. They don't want to allow anything in the paint. Hedging. Everyone's doing a great job at the top of the key. Great job by the Mercer guards. The Catamount stepped up the pressure a little bit. The Bears get it into the front court. Now that you can see Western Carolina has changed up their defense once again. They are now in a 2-3 zone, doing the same defense that Mercer was in on their defensive side. Pull up won't go for Bridges. And a rebound for Mack. Breanne Mack, the 6-3 forward out of Charlotte, North Carolina. 
of her red shirt sophomore year. West Carolina being very patient with the ball. In and out. Taylor still looking for her first hoops of the night. Lawrence drives and dishes it to, Lawrence, to Williams, who goes up and is fouled. Alex in her 5'9 frame, she is very relentless when it comes to the board. She is that type of player that can be on the block, and it doesn't matter if she's 5'9. She's going to be very persistent getting to the glass. Now she gets a chance to step up to the charity stripe and knock down two. And their first attempt is short. We have uh, Emily Hatfield, freshman from Hendersonville, Tennessee, checking in for West Carolina. And her second is good. So the Bears up 3 0. With four minutes gone in the first half. And no shot has been easy to come by for either team. Western Carolina has had some touches in the paint, but they have yet to connect with the rim. Taylor had it and was forced, had nowhere to go with it. They are 0 for 5 in this game, and Taylor sits. Bridges remains in the game as she plays monster minutes for this Bears squad. Again, the Catamounts with pressure up midcourt line. Pass underneath, and basket good for Alex Williams. And that's why I like Brianna Williams in the game because she pushes the tempo. She's not hesitant when it comes to another team pressing them in the full court. She did a great job breaking the press, finding Williams underneath the basket. So the Bears have scored all the points so far in the game. The Catamounts look to answer. Carolina, their offense, they love to have someone slash in the middle, seeing if they can have a high-low that shot is rejected as the clock expires. Goes back to Mercer. They're playing some tenacious D here in the opening frame. Tiana Robinson's frame is not one that I would want to shoot over on the baseline, but they did have to get a shot up very quickly with the shot clock running out. Outside three ball. Nothing but bottom for Brianna Williams. Brianna Williams coming out on fire before the game started while the game was tipped off. She was on the bike trying to get warmed up. I can see that that was very beneficial for her coming into this game. So the Bears with all eight points so far in the game. Layup no good. Rebound to Kalia Lawrence. Bridges shot in and out. And... Lawrence going to be whistled for the contact foul there. It's a tough foul to pick up, but it was a 50-50 ball. You want to make sure that each player on the team knows that if there is a loose ball, you have to sacrifice yourself. Be smart, but be willing to sacrifice your body in order to get another possession for your team. Lawrence looked like a may have stung her left hand. You can see her at the end of the Bears bench there getting worked on as Catamounts go to work looking for their first points in the game. This foul going against Tiana Robinson. That's her first. Second team foul. So the Catamounts inbound underneath. The zone certainly has been working for Mercer's side. They've been able to smother the top of the zone, but then also keep it packed in enough where they don't have flashers coming in the paint for Carolina. Lindsey Simpson in the game now for West Carolina. A legacy, if you will. Her mother played volleyball and basketball for the Catamounts. I understand her grandfather was a footballer. Sometimes it's, just in, it's in the water. <laughs> in the water, in the jeans. In the jeans. Carolina back into their man-to-man -man off the defense, which allows Mercer to have more opportunities to crash the boards and battle one-on-one -on -one for a defensive offensive rebound. Brianna Williams is feeling it from outside, two for two from long range, and it's now 11-0. Catamount still looking for a way to dent the scoreboard. 
Drive, right hand hook, in and out, rebound Bridges. Great shot, but then there's no one in the paint for rebounds. Bridges tried to pass it underneath, but it's taken away by the Catamounts. And a three ball, that is good. Lindsey Simpson. That is her shot. She does a great job just putting the ball up very quickly, has a great release, knows where to go in the transition offense, finding her place. Great find for her on the wing. Layup, foul on the play, and one. Priyana Williams is seeing red in this game. She's doing a great job on the inside, making sure she can break the press, but then on the outside, hitting shots. Brianna Williams, that one, two step, that's everything you want to be as a guard, making sure you can finish under the basket. She's one of the most athletic players in the SOCON. Nice little finger roll there. And that's so, that's one of the things that's so dangerous about this Mercer team. They are stacked with players that each night it can be someone different. Most of the time it's Precious Bridges because she's that dominant. But there are other players around her that can get the job done as well. She's got nine in the early going for Mercer. And the Bears' lead is 11. Justin Taylor back in the lineup for Coach Middleton. Pass down low, it's tipped by Robinson and is gonna go out off Brianne Mack. Also Carolina having a very difficult time trying to figure out the 2-3 zone that Mercer is playing and then seeing what shots they can find out of it. Justin Taylor can get to the basket, but she's looking for her player underneath, but it's hard to get it over Tiana Robinson in her 6-5 frame. Bears working around the perimeter. Shot up and out, rebound Robinson, and a left hand that goes. Used her height to that advantage. Outside three ball from long range is good. If Lindsay Simpson crosses half court, you have to find her. Her range is deep, but for her to be on the three point line and a player not know where she is in that zone is very tough. She has all six of the Catamount points. Let's get the Bears lead to 10. Answer back, Brianna Williams. I can see the smoke trailing behind. She did score 54 three years back. So I know that this is just the pace that she likes and they're doing a great job finding her. She's also doing a great job finding the shots that she's very comfortable with. She has the hot hand early. The Catamounts on the opposite end of the spectrum, although just a Justin Taylor held scoreless, but keeping him in the game is Simpson. Ball's tipped away by Robinson out of bounds, so it'll be Catamount possession. Mercer has come out with a lot of tenacity and a, a swag on the defensive end. That's just one thing that they're focused on. They know that they can score, but on the de defensive end, they've taken a lot of pride in this game. Kai Huff now on the floor. The Freshman guard from Lancaster, South Carolina. Turnover gives it back to Mercer. Once again, Carolina still trying to force it inside, but with Tiana Robinson in there, she's just getting around every single time. Another rebound for Alex Williams, shot in and out for Alicia Williams. Back come the Catamounts, and outside three away and in. And she's asking for the ball as soon as they get a rebound off of the glass. They're not covering her when she comes down the court in transition. She has all nine of the Catamount points, does Lindsey Simpson. The Bears lead back to 10. Shows you what type of player Lindsey Simpson is, can knock down the three, of course, has the nine for Western Carolina right now, but then also is guarding Brianna Williams and is their best offensive threat right now on the floor. Precious Bridges connects for her first bucket of the night. Now one for five in the game. Push the Bears lead to a dozen. And that can turn around very quickly for Precious Bridges. She knows how to get her shot off. Small frame, but they set great screens for her to get the shot off right at the free throw line. She gets a deflected rebound and brings it into the front court. Three away and good. Brianna Williams. Throwing the three point side down like Westbrook. She is 
unconscious when it comes to that three ball. Overall, she's just having a stellar first half on both ends of the floor. A little like Kyle Corver. <laughs> as Catamounts are back at it on the offensive end. Drive underneath and a reverse layup won't go. Great hustle though and a put back there for Sheree Bonner. The freshman out of Whitesburg, Georgia. Way to crash the board, not giving up, but putting yourself in a space where you can get the ball, put it up on the glass for another opportunity. She becomes the second Catamount to score. Uh-oh, outside and shut the door. Brianna Williams with another three ball. She has 18 points. At this point in the game, I wouldn't take my eyes off of her. I don't care if she's on the defensive side. She is so on fire, you do not allow her to get another open look off. Trying to deny Simpson, there's contact. She'll get the foul and send Simpson to the charity strike. Maybe that's what you have to do when somebody's hit every shot they've put up. Well, on both ends of the floor, because they're guarding one another. So for Brianna Williams, she's like, you're not going to get an open shot on me. And in a way, Lindsey Simpson has a tough task ahead of her, trying to stop Brianna Williams on the other end. Simpson hits the first as Maddie Mitchell checks in. Justin Taylor back in the game for the Catamounts. Second is good for Simpson. She's hit every shot she's taken. Starting to feel like we highlighted the two players that were the leading scorers in the conference with Bridges and then also Taylor. But my goodness, Lindsey Simpson and Brianna Williams are definitely putting on a show tonight. Outside three ball away, in and out. Rebound and a right place at the right time, Kalia Lawrence for her first two. And you can have that up. It's a nice little assist from Maddie Mitchell from her back. Just a nice little pass off the back to her. Drive underneath, contact, shot won't go. The foul's gonna go against a Alicia Williams for her first. Timeout on the floor, the Bears up big. It was 7.44 to play in the first. Basket as well, just a balanced player for this Justin team right Taylor now. Line, Justin Taylor heading to the free throw line. Her first rattles home, her first points in the game coming at the 7.44 mark. Second leading scorer in the Southern Conference. And Mercer put a lot of emphasis on her on the defensive end. One reason why they went into the zone, just so everyone could help on that side, but then she was trying to get her teammates involved early in the game, and right now she needs to find her rhythm to see if she can close the gap for her team. Well, Brianna Williams coming up with that long rebound and a foul called against Sheree Bonner. That's her first. Bridges outside with a hand in her face. Shot won't fall. Lawrence in position and a whistle underneath. And that is the first foul whistle against Lindsey Simpson. Yeah, it just comes over the back for Lindsey Simpson sticking up her second foul. Outside another three away and the first miss of the game. That's news for Brianna Williams. Outside look for Lawrence is no good. And the catamounts come the other way. Drive inside and a foul underneath. You have trying to see what they can find out of that transition offense. Making sure they're not put on their heels. Great job pushing it out. Seeing what she has at the rim. Trying to get past Precious Bridges. She thought, thought that she had the corner for it. Picks up the foul. So the first free throw, no good for Kaya Huff. The freshman from Lancaster, South Carolina. Mackenzie Campbell checking in. The second also iron unkind, a rebound for Alicia Williams. Under seven minutes remaining in the first half. Bears up by 15. This is 
is one of the times where Mercer has held the ball the very longest. Not usually waiting till the last seven seconds in the shot clock to get something down, but Western Carolina seeing if they can switch up the defense again to change things up. That puts Mercer on their heels, seeing what they can run out of their offense. Took the Bears out of their comfort zone. Lawrence loses the handle and gives it back to the Catamounts. Taylor, nice move. Inside, another nice move for her first two-pointer of the game. And she's just great at creating her own shot. If someone is in front of her, she can break them down, get to the basket, not just coming up and pulling up for a jump shot, but finding a crafty way to get to the basket. Lawrence trying to feed it down low. Instead, pull up. Outside the foul line, won't go. Mitchell with the board. Maddie Mitchell doing a great job finding a body, boxing out, seeing if she can pick up another opportunity for her team. That is her role for this team, screening, finding ways to pick up more offensive rebounds for Mercer. Williams lost the handle. Ten on the shot clock. Bridges drives. <laughs> and a right hand good. Her hang time in the air just coming through two defenders and being able to finish on the glass. You can't teach that. Pull up outside is good. Justin Taylor heating up now. She's got five. And on both sides, the go-to players know how to score on the outside and get to the basket as well. Maddie Mitchell tried to get in the three club. Wouldn't go, but a rebound for Alicia Williams. First, we're seeing if they can set up their offense get a shot that they want out of their offense, not being forced to take anything that they don't want to. Lawrence with the ball and a three ball away, long. Clea Lawrence, as great as her shot may be, she really doesn't look for that three-point shot. There's a three. That is Mackenzie Campbell. Her first shot is a three ball and not only is she a talented student athlete, uh, the student part as well. She is a great <laughs> student. She puts the student athlete together, and that's everything that you want for your team and your players. She does a great job at that, and obviously she can get the job done on the wing as well. She can knock down that three. So she's a perfect student athlete, as you would say. She has uh, got the stroke on that one for her first three in the game. Though young lady from Kingsport, Tennessee. The senior who averages 4.8 a game. So the Bears lead back to 10 and Coach Gardner. The serious look there. And she's talking it over with Brianna Williams on the Bears bench now. And Tiana Robinson back in the game for Mercer. Brianne Mack. Back on the floor, notes conference standings and see what's going on all around the Southern Conference. Find out if anybody has knocked off the box yet. Catamounts back to work. Outside, three ball away, in and out. Another rebound, Alex Williams. Alex Williams takes down the rebound and she is just so fearless on the board. That's her fourth. Mercer Bri really slowing the ball down on the offensive end. Before, Brianna Williams would have taken that shot in the corner. Now trying to see if they can get an even better shot in the offense. Outside three ball, it gets ironed, but just barely. And the rebound is going to be lost. Good hustle there by Sheree Bonner. She couldn't quite come up with the loose ball, so Bears retain possession. Coach Karen Middleton on the Western Carolina side just throws her hands in the air. Those are moments where you have to come up with the ball. Bonner hustling after it, but couldn't quite save it for it. Went out of bounds. So Lawrence to inbound to our left. As we wind down to three minutes remaining in the first period. Williams. Somehow another manages to get it to Bridges. Her jumper from outside. She's fouled in the act of shooting. Western Carolina's number three. 
first is uh, Kai Huff whistled for her first foul. And Precious Bridges goes to the line. How Brianna Williams was able to keep her dribble going down and no type of pressure was put on her is beyond me. thinking on her feet, but she was thinking on one knee. <laughs> and came out on top again. Reminiscent of, uh, well, some of the older folks listening will remember Curly Neal and some of the tricky dribbling with the Globetrotters he used to do. Second by Bridges is off. Rebound, Williams. So the Bears with another possession. And as a coach, when you are on the line, you have more people set up on the free throw line than the shooting team. You have to come up with that possession. In the day, we used to run suicides for that one if you weren't able to come up with the ball. Lawrence uses a screen and gets an open jumper to go. Pass denied. Trying to get it inside the back. And here come the Bears again. Pull up off the iron, no. Rebound, Robinson. Two minutes left in the first half. Mercer matching their biggest lead of the game at 13. Lawrence, her foot was on the line, would not have counted as a three. Rebound, Bonner. Allie Lane pushing the pace just a little bit for her team, seeing if they can work out of the offense on the transition side. Now you can see that Lindsey Smith, Lindsey Simpson is being guarded every step of the way, even if the ball is on the other side of the court. Now they've adjusted and made sure that they can find her every time she's on the offensive side. Taylor says, that's fine with me. She can <laughs> uh, jump her from outside. Cuts the Bears lead to 11. Lawrence pull up at the foul line is good as she's heating up. In rhythm shot, one dribble pull up. Something that every kid in the stand right now should be practicing at home. They're trying to get on the collegiate level. That's a tough shot to make, but one that you do have to work on. Foul goes on Mercer. That's a reach here on Kalia Lawrence. So that's her second. You can, As, you can see right now Justin Taylor even getting her team in that huddle, making sure everyone's there. She got fouled, but everyone's walking to the huddle. She's really trying to breathe some energy into her teammates. She's got eight. Checking in for Carolina, Ace Easter, Emily Hatfield. Alex Williams back in the lineup for Mercer as Simpson sits down. Allie Lane back in the game. And the second for Taylor. She might have started slow, but she's got nine now. And she's had some help on the offensive end, obviously, with Mackenzie Campbell and Lindsey Simpson stepping up, hitting outside shots. Bridges directing the offense for Mercer. Outside three ball away, and good. Alicia Williams finally connects for her first bucket of the game. And that was great defense by Western Carolina. They picked their poison. They're guarding Precious Bridges coming off of the screen. They're guarding Brianna Williams on the side. I mean, great job by Alicia Williams knocking down that shot. Taylor cross court to Easter. Ball's tipped. Kept alive by Hatfield. Justin Taylor seeing what she can come out of this offense with three seconds left on the shot clock. Pass down low and the shot blocked. Second block in the game, denial by Tiana Robinson. Good look at the senior out of Grayson, Georgia. She's improved so much just because she knows in her frame that she can just get a block without fouling. And that's one thing that Susie Gardner is really happy about. Keeping, they're saying this is what we're trying to get out of our offense and it's gonna happen. Mercer has forced them to take an off-balance shot and 
once out of every three times, Justin Turner says, I'm going to take the ball to the paint. She's very poised, one of the players that can get it done. Drive cut off. And the pass tipped. Kalia Lawrence in the passing lane. She has it take, tipped away, but corrals the loose ball. That's something that we did talk about in the halftime, just controlling the ball, make sure you keep the, limiting the turnovers for your team, especially when you're coming in from a deficit at a half. Bears trying to get underneath. Robinson with an easy left hand. It's a great pass by Alex Williams at the top of the key, especially as a freshman. As a coach, you want to see your freshman really understand the importance of getting the ball into your post players. If you're not familiar with the Bears, they have four seniors and the rest all freshmen on this squad. No juniors or sophomores. Pull up outside, won't go. Rebound Robinson. Elion Tiana Robinson showing why she's in the game. Doing a great job coming up with boards as she should and then finishing in the paint. So the Bears lead is up to 16. Williams pass to Lawrence at the foul line. Her pull up, no good. And a rebound, Joseph. Ali Lane seeing what she can get out of the transition. Mercer guards there, ready to set up for the defensive set. Pass into Joseph, back out. Drive and the right hand floater won't go. Joseph there for the rebound. Kick out, give her the assist as Easter has her first bucket of the game. And that was just a penetration, getting the ball out in the paint, passing out. Those are the shots they had to look for continuing in the second half. Alicia Williams on the other end for the Bears. Second half just underway if you're just joining us. Catamounts trying to break the Bears defense who stay in the zone. Taylor gets contact. They say before the shot, they were in one. Seeing the time winding down, Mercer are doing a great job forcing them to take that last second shot. Justin Taylor, just that tough of a player, knowing how to draw the contact and get it on the glass. Not just get it on the glass, but then finishing as well. She has a chance for a three-point play. And for Coach Middleton, this is what you want. Chance to score with the clock not moving. Free throw, no good. Rebound, Williams. Alex Williams. Seeing that there are three Williams on the Mercer team, and none of them are related. Just and they're all on clear. the floor right now. <laughs> Bridges pull up from outside, in and out. Rebound Robinson. Bridges shot short. And the Catamounts come the other way. Justin Taylor seeing what she can come up with in the transition now, finding Ace Easter on the baseline. Easter's shot won't go, but Joseph there for her sixth rebound and her first points in the game. Crashing the boards. Western Carolina has to continue to crash the boards, coming up with those missed shots, putting it back up. The Bears had a rebounding edge at the half. Drive by Bridges. Won't go. She's fouled. And one thing that Western Carolina fans know is in the second half, they are outscoring their opponents on the year. And that's for every team. I don't know what the difference is in the first half, but when they come out of halftime, they find a way on the offensive end to get it done. But in the second half, Mercer hasn't changed their tenacity on the defensive end. So Bridges at the line. And her free throw is no good. Leading scorer in the Southern Conference came in averaging 21.1 a game. Two for nine from the floor tonight. And you wouldn't be able to tell because of the fire that Brianna Williams came in the game with. She's been able to take a lot of the load off of her on the offensive end. Drive down low, Taylor. Dish, and it winds up 
in the hands of Erica Joseph. Right place, right time, and the bank is open. Erica Joseph running out, even a little surprised for herself, knowing that C. Hunter Robinson can definitely block shots in the paint. And Erica Joseph. See if they can come up with a couple more rebounds. They do have a height advantage when it comes to the Western Carolina team. But with Tiana Robinson, she has been active on the offensive and defensive side. I've seen her do a lot more posting up in the paint in this game. Floater in the lane is good, Brianna Williams. So she's got 20 after a very hot first half. And that was before the last two medias of the first half. She started to cool down, seeing what she could come out with the offense. And then other players on the team got in a groove. Feeling the threes, Justin Taylor. Can't even be a question. She has to look for her shot more. I know she's been able to get her team involved, and they continue to step up. But she can't miss her opportunities to score. Bridges. Direct to the offense, under 15 and a half remaining in the game. Cut off. Shot clock winds down to five. The drive cut off. Somebody's got to put it up. If fouled, she's going to get bailed out. Taylor. For now five of ten from the floor with 14 points. Precious Bridges, two of nine from the floor. With just six points, five assists though, and three rebounds. Justin Taylor, Justin Taylor, she knows when to step up in this game, and we said that she needs to look for her shot more often, but then we did have Lindsey Simpson with the hot hand coming off with those threes and doing a great job for them, but they are really having a difficult time in this zone trying to get the shots that they want out of it at the high post and then even get into the basket. Alicia Williams good on both her free throws, and she sits as Brittany Broadway checks in for Mercer. 12-point lead for the Bears and a rebound for Robinson. One in few times where Mercer had an opportunity to score out of transition. Precious Bridges pulling it out, seeing if she could come up with anything different. And she does with Tiana Robinson under the basket. Another great pass by Alex Williams at the top of the key. She is one of their best passers when it comes to getting the ball into the interior. So the Bears lead back to 14. Pull up outside, in and out. How many times has that happened for the Catamounts tonight? Shots just rattle in and out. In the first half, within the first two medias, they were shooting 18% from the field. Bears look to extend the lead. We're going to have a foul. And that is going to go against Tiana Robinson, her second. You can see a lot of growth in Tiana Robinson, just working for the ball more. In previous games, she was really hesitant, trying to feel her way, but now she's demanding the ball in the paint. The players are doing a great job looking for her, especially with all the experienced offensive players on the outside. Taylor from outside won't go, and there is Alex Williams with yet another rebound. Her seventh. Pull up outside, off the front iron, no. Western Carolina coming up with another defensive rebound, doing a great job limiting Mercer now in this second half to one possession. Taylor gives it up. Broadway tried to bother the shot, but it doesn't matter as Easter connects. Ace Easter is averaging nine points a game. She's really coming alive in the second half. Didn't really put up a lot of attempts in the first half, but now seeing where she can find her groove in this offense. Williams drives and lays it in. She's got 22 to lead all scores. It's just how she scores. She just makes it look so easy. 13 minutes remaining in the game. Pull up at the foul line is short. And we're going to have a whistle. Tiana Robinson, uh, second leading scorer on the Bears squad tonight, eight points. That's above her season average. She also has a couple of blocks, playing well on the defensive end, and six rebounds already. She's been very aggressive in this game, and 
it's definitely been an emphasis for her, just getting the ball to her. All the guards are making sure they can find her in every possession. A drive and a dish, and Alicia Williams goes down hard as Taylor is going to get whistled for a foul. Williams back up. And Lindsey Simpson checks back in for the Catamounts. Perfect from the floor in the game is Simpson. Bridges drives, takes the contact, and will go to the line. Simpson whistled for the foul. That's her second. Just checks in and finds herself in a position where she picks up a foul, but she has to be on one of the top guards for Mercer. But she also has to stay in the game because that's where a lot of their offense comes from for Western Carolina. Bridges first is good. She has seven. Well off her season average and way short of the 33 she put up here Saturday. And that's just because her shots haven't been falling. She's definitely looked for different areas and where she can score, pulled a couple of threes and also in the paint, just not falling for her. But when you have Brianna Williams and then Kalia Lawrence on the offensive end too, along with Tiana Robinson, it's a luxury. Rebound and put back won't go for Hatfield. Bears come the other way on the break. And Williams to Williams, Brianna to Alicia. Credit the assist to Brianna and the bucket to Alicia. That's only been the second time in transition that they've been able to really score for Merson, and that's her identity. But in the paint, they've been doing a great job. Brianna Williams here on this replay, finding her. She loves to make that extra pass in the transition offense, doing a great job finding her counterpart, Alicia Williams. So the Bears' lead grows to 18 with 12 minutes remaining. Underneath, the shot won't go, and there's a whistle. Second foul against Brianna Williams. So just under 12 minutes remaining in the game. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. All academic American. First free throw is good for Easter. And her second is good. The Bears lead at 16, 56 40. Western Carolina applying more pressure to the guards, seeing a little bit of life out of them on the defensive end. Pull up outside, rattles in and out, rebound Huff. It's been that kind of night for quite a few of the shooters on the floor. That ball swatted away, a block shot for Brianna Williams. Outside three ball is short. Not sure if Williams got a piece of that one, but we're going to have a whistle underneath. Alicia Williams definitely got a piece of the ball off of Lindsay's attempt at the three, and that's just being aware. She saw her coming off that screen, coming from out of bounds, and then seeing if she can get around that screen. Great job just keeping her hands up and not putting herself in a position where she fouled her. Head coach Karen Middleton looking on as Alex Williams heads to the line. Nice rotation on her free throw. She cans the first. And her second is good. She's got five. Alex Williams once again finishing the play. Hatfield outside to Easter, who drives in the lane, tries to get it by Robinson, and Robinson says, says, not in my neighborhood. And as a guard, being able to play up on the guards, having a player such as Tiana Robinson in the paint, that's something where it frees you up to be very aggressive playing the guards. Because if they get past you, then they have that second line with Tiana Robinson, and she's done a great job blocking shots without getting in foul trouble. 
Huff takes it right hand floater won't go. Rebound. Erica Joseph. Bears collapsing on Simpson. Into the lane contact. Very physical game inside. And that is the third foul against Tiana Robinson. Still trying to see what happened there. But to be honest, Erica Joseph might have stumbled over her two feet. Pull up jumper is good. Money for ball by Ace Easter. She's got eight. And the Bears lead down to 16. About halfway home here in the second half. Drive, contacts, and last touched by Brianna Williams. So it goes back to the Catamounts. Brianna Williams just has one of the most impressive hesitation game moves as a guard, knowing when to change the speed to get her shot off. Down low, a little turnaround. And that is going to be an offensive foul. It's going to come back the other way. Foul on Sheree Bonner. And the entire bench was standing up saying, what do you mean offensive foul? But that's the way this game has been played. Maddie Mitchell now on the floor for Mercer. As Robinson takes a break. Pass down low. Back out to Mitchell. Her shot way off the mark. And the rebound finally tracked down by Sheree Bonner. Pull up outside. Rattles home. First bucket of the game, Kai Huff. Kai Huff in. Since the beginning of this game, she's looked for different ways to score e or even get people in the right position in transition offense. Obviously, just now finding her rhythm in the transition offense. Nine and under nine and a half remaining. Mitchell back outside. Jump shot at the foul line. Nothing but bottom. Maddie Mitchell. Brianna Williams putting it on the floor, attracting a lot of defense, a lot of attention because she can score. Just that good. Finds Mitchell. Great job by her knocking it down. Bridges guarding a pass out to Huff. Her shot is second block in the game for Brianna Williams. Filling up the stat column tonight. Here at Hawkins Arena with two rebounds, a couple of blocks, four assists. And that's just a confidence in yourself because either way, if you would have picked the foul up, it, the coach is screaming on the other end. But having the confidence of Brianna Williams saying, you're not going to get this shot over me. She's just an outstanding player. Talia Lawrence back in the game, driving. Simpson takes it to the hole, won't fall. And another rebound for Brianna Williams. Ahead to Precious Bridges for an easy layup. Once again, this ball coming from Brianna Williams. Right when she catches the ball, her head is up the floor, seeing who is running with her on her team. Mack, guarded by Mitchell. Her turnaround is good. Been waiting for Brianna Mack to step up in this game. She has a nice frame in the paint. Being able to score over Tiana Robinson has been hard. Bears working it around the perimeter. Ten to shoot. And we're going to have a whistle and a hold. That's going to go against Sheree Bonner. That is her fourth personal. And we're going to have a wholesale changes here as Allie Lane checks back in. Mackenzie Campbell back on the floor. Justin Taylor back in as well. And Erica Joseph back on. Williams first to, gets a shooter's roll. High arc shot for Alex Williams. And her second is good. 
very low crouch there at the at the charity stripe as well. Something we can't do. You have to have good knees in order to get that <laughs> done, and I definitely <laughs> am not going to put myself in that category. Two strikes over here as well. <laughs> Under eight to play. And Taylor face first into Maddie Mitchell. And up. She's. The Bears still. The big lead and the catamount still not in the bonus. I think she just hit the knee of Maddie Mitchell on the way down trying to see if she can find something in the paint. That's not a knee that I'd like to come to contact with. Taylor gets contact on the shot. And that is Kalia Lawrence who picks up her fourth personal foul. Justin Taylor has had her shot a few times in this game, but then she's really emphasizing getting to the basket, and rightfully so, knowing that she can knock down the free throw, but then also picking up the fouls on Mercer. Of course, we have Khalil Lawrence with foul trouble right now with four. Then you also have Tiana Robinson with three in this game. Keeping her out of foul trouble is very important for this Mercer team. Right now, both of those players are on the bench. And the second, good for Taylor. She's now 16. Bears working on the offensive end, a pull up for Bridges, and she's fouled from behind by Taylor. And that's another player now that's going to join the four foul club. Justin Taylor playing too close, looking for help, but she wasn't aware that Precious Bridges was going to pop for that shot at that moment, so just ran into her back. Wrong place, wrong time. Well, she was hustling, but uh, sometimes hustling can get you into trouble. In that case, it did. Bridges good for her 11th point. And we have Ace Easter checking in. She's really been looking for her shot in the second half. It is a different style of play from Justin Taylor. But either way, she can put the ball in the bucket. Bridges cans them both. Under seven and a half remaining. Ace Easter checking in for Taylor. Drive, cut off, outside three ball away, off the iron. Rebound underneath and a putback though. Erica Joseph, been calling her name in the paint a lot for rebounds tonight, and six points now. She's been tracking the ball off of the rim. Great job, I heard, just knowing where the ball is gonna come off of the rim. Unfortunately, picks up a foul at the top of the key on Brianna Williams. It's very surprising seeing how hot she was in the first half with the 18 points, now with 23. First is good. Like you said before, sometimes hustling can get you in trouble, just playing a little bit too close and too tight on Brianna Williams, knowing that she can put the ball on the floor. She's looking at her second. It's long, and rebound, you guessed it, Erica Joseph, rebound number 11. Huff gets separation and a pull-up that's long, gets the long rebound, though. Another look for the Catamounts, down low, off the side. Mitchell with good defensive position. Offensive rebounds, a slight edge for the Catamounts. Oh, Mercer working it around the perimeter, seeing what they can get out of it. And uh, we got right now Alicia Williams saying, I can knock down that three. <laughs> Shot is good. The Bears lead up to 19. I guess her foot was on the line. That would have been her second three on the game, but she is not afraid to pull that three-point shot. Quickly down the front court, the Bears outside look, jump shot up, in, out. And a rebound and a hell ball gonna be called. Erica Joseph, though, it seems like in great position almost every trip down the floor. Well, when you come up with Erica Joseph and then Alex Williams, both players can just track the ball off of the rim so well for both of these teams. 
It's a very nice matchup between the two for rebounds. Had a good look at both of them. Maddie Mitchell from outside. Shot won't go. And a rebound from Mackenzie Campbell. She's going to put up a three and nail it. She's almost very drawn up, making sure she can drive down to the paint. She turned around, trailing her, knowing where she was going to be, and knocks it down. Give Huff the assist. The Bears lead back to 16. Bridges pass underneath. Give her another assist and a bucket for Alex Williams. Nice assist, great pass, great connection between Alex Williams. And then calling out for the ball, knowing that she can pitch her hand up, not just wasting your space under the basket. Outside three ball away. Rebound, Brianna Williams. Driving, layup won't go, but there is Alex Williams for the rebound. The hurt put back won't go. That was Kayla Potts, who's now on the floor for Mercer. Right hand hook off. And a rebound, Kayla Potts. The pace has really been pushed for both teams, and Brianna Williams doing what she does best, getting to the basket, finishing in a very nice style. Four and a half remaining. The Bears lead now 20. The Bears over their season offensive average and holding the Catamounts well under theirs. Bridges on the break. The dish. Contact and last touched by the Catamounts. So the Bears retain possession. As Emily Hatfield is going to check back in. Along with Justin Taylor. Tiana Robinson back on from Mercer. Brittany Broadway, the freshman from Searcy, Arkansas, checking in. So the Bears are playing with three freshmen and two seniors. Mercer. Mercer seeing how they can work the ball around the perimeter once again. Time is on their side, seeing what they can come out of their offense. Outside jumper is in and out, tipped. We're going to have a whistle underneath. It's going the other way. And that will be on the way with visits to Furman, Walford, and East Tennessee State before coming home to wrap things up with Chattanooga and Samford. First is up and good, Emily Hatfield. Notches one on the scorer's book. And as you have a look at the freshman out of Hendersonville, Tennessee. Knocks them both down. Sydney Means now on the floor for Mercer. Sheree Bonner back in for Western Carolina. A lot of players now coming off of the bench, seeing if they can get in a rhythm, getting some playing time. Shot clock under 10. Drive and dish. Outside ball is in and out. Rebound. Alex Williams, and she's fouled on the putback. It's one thing that doesn't change much for a Mercer. When Alex Williams is on the floor, she will come up with an offensive rebound and could have come up with an and one in that possession as well. She has 12 rebounds. It's a rebound party for Alex Williams and for Erica Joseph, each with a dozen rebounds here in the game. Her first is good. And Alex Williams flirting with a double-double. Now with nine in the game. Very capable of having a double-double every night, regardless of if Precious, Precious Bridges has 33 or... Even Brianna Williams has 20-something points. She just comes up with the garbage plays underneath the basket, rebounding, putting the ball back, and then getting fouled in the process. Bears take it away. There's Alex Williams again. Called her name a lot tonight. Drive and a pull-up off the front iron. Tipped and a rebound, Tiana Robinson. The Bears will like to run some clock. Pass is taken out of there 
Well read defensively by Mackenzie Campbell with a steal. Brings the ball all up the floor and is directing the offense, telling everyone where to go, moving around in their set. The time isn't on their side. They have to see if they can come up with something quick. Three ball away, and it's short. Out of bounds, ball goes to Mercer. Talked about Alex Williams for Mercer with a dozen rebounds. That's a new career high as Tiana Robinson will sit. Tiana Robinson did a great job tonight, start to finish, even though she got in a little bit of foul trouble. She did a great job. And then you talk about Alex Williams. This is her second double-double on this season. I think that she can get it every single game just because of the player that she is. Kayla Potts cracks the scoreboard with a nifty left hand. Under two to play. As the Bears starters are now all resting. And it is taken out of there, a steal. And a takeaway, and again, Kayla Potts with some hustling plays. Broadway tries to pass underneath. It's going to be knocked away by the Catamounts, so the Bears retain possession. Nice little spin move to save the ball. And that's when you talk about the 50-50 ball. Getting your hands on the ball, that is the most important thing on the court. Inbounds play goes to Alex Williams. She can't convert, but she is fouled by Mackenzie Campbell. Fell on Western Carolina's number 32, Mackenzie Campbell. Is and so first. Williams heads back to the charity stripe. Alex Williams at the line, shoot two. Nice game for the freshman out of College Park, who has 11 points, 12 rebounds, three assists. Hits them both. And is very consistent at the free throw line. Second double-double of the year for Alex Williams. The Bears up to 24-point lead under 90 to play. Pass tipped inside. Jumper at the foul line. Rattles around and out. And Alex Williams another rebound. You talked about the home stretch. What do you learn from your team in this instance? For Mercer, understanding that you can't let up. It may be a 20 point plus game, but then how are you going into the next game? How are you pushing yourself? How are you gonna finish? Every game, you have to finish the game and they're doing a great job at that. They have not let up on the defensive end. And uh, just the second miss at the foul line tonight for Williams. She's now eight of 10. A look at the Catamount bench. And the second is good, so Alex Williams now with 13. Outside three ball is away and good. Lindsay Simpson. Her first bucket in the second half. And that's where I'm shocked. She hasn't had the touches in this second half. I know that Justin Taylor has been looking for her shot as well, but for her to be so hot in the first half and that be her first basket in this second half is very surprising. Pass underneath goes to Mitchell, back out. And a drive, a layup that won't go. Who's in there fighting for the rebound? Oh, let me say it, Alex <laughs> Williams. <laughs> it's a hell ball. Possession goes to the Catamounts. Coach Gardner still coaching, even though there's under a minute remaining in this one. Pretty much a given. And that's just the type of coach that Susie Gardner is. Just winning each media timeout. That is something that we did as players, even when I was playing. Knowing each media timeout we wanted to win, and we had a goal for each media. Simpson drives, loses it. Broadway comes out of there with it. Fast break ahead to Alex Williams. She's got 15. And is the second leading scorer on this Bears team tonight with a double-double. Shot clock is off. Drive. 
shot at the buzzer. They will count it. They do. 